Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. Hip Hop since 1987, we live in Atlanta right now, and I got the honor and the pleasure of being with one of Atlanta's finest when it comes to this music right here. He goes by the name of Jody Breeze. We appreciate the time of you having us Thanks in this so wonderful man. studio and doing this interview with us, good brother. Thanks so appreciate Damn, so appreciate that. Thanks and we done been here for about an hour, hour and a half. You just let us hear all this exclusive new music Thanks that'll so. definitely be dropping on Hip Hop since 1987 real soon. Thanks so. You got a new mixtape coming out soon. It's in the works right now. Right. Airplane mode. Airplane mode two, if I'm correct, right? Right. Elaborate and tell us a little bit about that. Oh uh, well, well, right now I'm doing like the second, the second um, CD to my series Airplane Mode, which is available right now on live mixtape. If you don't have the um, Airplane Mode first. The the, the the airplane mode one you need to go to live mixtape right now and go get that so you'll know what I'm on for airplane mode part two and okay. it's, and it's also on like it's like some some mile high club type shit you know what I mean and for people that don't know what mile high club is like when you're on an airplane like if you look in your phone you can see if you got an up to date phone um, you should have airplane mode in your phone. So when, when you get on the airplane, you're supposed to put your phone in airplane mode. And that sort of like disconnects you from, for me, this is my definition. This is what I'm going by with my, my CD. Like, it, it disconnects you from everybody else. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm on some other shit. Whether you like it or you don't, me personally, I'm on some other shit. I'm in the sky. I ain't high either. I'm, I'm high, but I'm still in the sky. You feel me? Floating. I don't know what niggas talking about. But y'all better get up on this shit. Straight up. Now you definitely been in the game for a while. You came in actually in about two, 2005. 2004. 2004. Yeah. Boys in the Hood smash. Right. Smash in the streets. Right. Not only Atlanta, but y'all made it up to the north and had the streets of Philly, New York, Baltimore going crazy and whatnot. Shots out to Philly. Fuck with Philly. Super hard. I think it's super hard. Real niggas in Philly. I'm talking about for real, for real. Big shout out to Philly. Definitely Straight big up. shout out to Philly. Straight up. Working with Puff coming into the game, what was that experience like? What what knowledge did you gain from working with a man like that? Um Well I I can say Puff is a, a fucking damn no machine, man. Right? You know what I mean? Like to be able to, you know, just peep game from people like that. And I also around Jazzy Faith for like, you know, five, six years, you know, right into the game. So just for being around those kind of people that's so talented and, and hungry, like, every day, you feel what I'm saying? You'll be dumb not to get some of that, that game, you feel me? And I think a lot of people underestimate my intelligence, <laughs> you feel me? I got plenty of sense. <laughs> And I've been, I've been peeping game, so you know, I just, I just do my thing. I stay on my line. I'm quite sure people didn't know. Not, not only are you an artist, you're also a songwriter as well. Mm -hmm. You were responsible for a lot of hits that have come out throughout the years and things of that nature. But airplane mode two, you said like it's your way of disconnecting yourself from all the bullshit, everything that's going on right now. But do you feel like this music will separate you or disconnect you from current hip hop? Do you think you'll have an opportunity to kind of like Recreate the game of where it is right now, making that feel good music, music with some type of content. Right, right. Um, like, like, I don't pretty much. I don't try to like say, try to predict what, what I'm gonna do. You feel what I'm saying? I just, I speak to the people that listens. You feel what I'm saying? And I have a, a pretty big enough following to, you know, understand how a lot of people feel. You know what I mean? That 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 lives out here in the real world. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of shit that go on that people just don't understand. It's it's a, it's a real world out here, though. You feel me? It's a lot of niggas just say they understand it, but shit real out here. 
You feel me? And I feel like the people I talk to, they understand that. that that's why I can pretty much I, I, I rap when I get ready to rap. You feel what I'm saying? Because the people who fuck with me, they feel what I'm on. You feel what I'm saying? Rap is easy to a rapper. You know what I mean? But niggas who live real life, they got to do this shit accordingly. You know what I mean? Straight up, like on some real shit. No, I think that I can definitely, I can understand and I can see the growth, like, uh, coming up, you know what I'm saying? I was young in, in uh, 2004, 2005, I was fresh out of high school when I, I got out of high school in uh, 02, and y'all music was like, it was real motivating, I remember in that time of my life, like, y'all was dropping some real shit to a person like me at that time, mm. and whatnot, I know a lot of other people in that way, and then listening to your music today, it almost like, I, I can hear the growth and the maturity in your, in your music and whatnot, right. I, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. You even like letting us into that world. Don't worry, y'all will get a glimpse and, and, and get to hear some of the stuff that we're listening to so you know what I'm talking about right now. Yeah. But it, it def, definitely seen the growth in an artist such as yourself who already has accomplished so much. Mm. I can dig that and whatnot. That's why I appreciate that. Too. With everything you have accomplished so far in the rap game and in hip-hop in, in general, what else can we can we look for from Jody? Like, what else will you be working on? Uh, Well, I'm, I, I got a couple little young cats that I be fucking with. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm I'm pretty much I enjoy like the behind the scenes like the 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 putting the music together you know what I mean like hands on you feel what I'm saying because whether people know it or not like that's where the money is you feel what I'm saying like to create music that people have no idea that you're doing but you're seeing the benefits. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with it. You know. Do you think you picked up on that technique working with, you know, mm -hmm. veteran artists in the game so young in your career or not? Do you think that's kind of put you in position to be a better businessman, a right. businessman, you know, in today's hip-hop industry? Right, right. Because it's, it's, if you ain't got your business together, I hear like you you just be in a the, in the fucking whole lot of shit. You feel what I'm saying? So it's pretty much like you got to understand everything that goes along with doing this shit really to get money, to get real money. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers just want to rap because it, look, it looks good and, you know, it makes you look a certain kind of way. But at the same time, you know what I mean? And you can't get no money if you ain't get no money for it. Well, speaking of, you know, making money in hip-hop, when you came into the game, mixtapes were, you know, were the big thing. And I mean, like, the hard copy actually going to the store right. or having to connect and buying a mixtape was the big thing. Right. Nowadays, it's more internet, viral. You know, you're mm -hmm. downloading mixtapes, you're downloading singles and things like that. Right. When you're getting deals, you're getting the 360 deals where, you know, if Nike or Nabisco or somebody else reaches out to you as an artist, mm -hmm. your label are getting pieces of that deal. Do you feel like in today's hip-hop industry, it's harder to make a dollar than it may have been back in the day? And if so, what do artists need to do, you know, to find a ways to, to still make a, a substantial profit? Um, I wouldn't say that it's, it's harder because people always buy mixtapes. Like, they always get CDs. But even though it's on the computer now, you just got to, like I just said, you got to know what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? If you know it's on the internet, you got to know all that internet shit. That's what, that what I pay other people to, to do, you know what I mean? You do, that, <laughs> you do that internet shit and make sure we got all that internet stuff going on. Because that shit was running the fucking game right now. Like, the internet. If I got to, if I got to be successful off the internet, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that time is coming. I know from the, at least from the music that we had the the honor of hearing today, that that time is coming. When now, when you yeah. dropped that mixtape, oh, for hip hop sure, since sure. nineteen eighty seven, of course. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be a real good look right there. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it big, man. We're gonna um, I'm 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 gonna do my thing and for all the motherfuckers that been riding with me from day one. You know, um, cause cause I think a lot of people just don't know my story and don't know like all the shit that a nigga done really did and you know really really seen really been through 
Cause I keep, I, I'm really low key nigga. Like I don't do all that extra shit, and I'm cool with it. But once people just understand and know my my story, my history, within rap, you know, within life, just in general, motherfuckers will know and understand. Like I've been that nigga though. You feel me? Like for a long time, and niggas know that. <laughs> you feel me? But I'm low key with it though. I'm cool, it's, it's all good. I'm cool, <laughs> you feel? Let these good folks know if they want to contact you on social media, where they can find Jody Breeze, and where they can find more of your music right now today. Uh, you can hit me on, the. On, I got my Twitter, the Jody Breeze underscore YGR. Uh, if you if you people got the Instagram, you can hit me on the Breeze underscore YGR. Um, Anybody just looking for some Jody Breeze, anything, all you got to do is like Google my name and go download, 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 fuck with your partner. I got shit coming from my people, man. All my real partners, all my player partners that know, know where a nigga come from, know what a nigga do it for. This is what we do it for. Airplane mode, part two, my high club. Breeze. You know what it is. Hip Hop since 1987. We down at ATL. Shout out my man Rick Dane. Yeah, yeah. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. To be honest, I'm gonna fi finish this record, the, the, the record that I'm about to launch while we're on tour, so I'm gonna just say that. Okay. You can't tell us who that record nah, is. Nah, no, no, don't worry man. about that. It's, oh, don't worry man. about it. It's quality street music. I'm gonna make sure you're good.